Alright. Hey guys, and welcome to another playthrough. This time we're taking on Parasite Eve 2. Now, uh, as you'll see here, it's actually... <laughs> it's actually the, the, the PS3 version, which emulates the PSX version. Um, I don't know why. I because when I started this playthrough, I, was, I thought, well, I'll just uh, just uh, bring out my PS2 from storage and uh, get going. But apparently, I did not actually buy the oh, whoops. I did not actually buy the the PSX version. I guess it must have been too expensive at the time. But yeah, um, uh, just to let you guys know that. I've actually been I've been playtesting this game for a bit, and I realized that uh, the audio settings apparently reset when I uh, set up the old Elgato game capture. Um, so the audio was actually uh, kind of wrong. I had to fix it so that I could actually adjust the um, the. Um, the commentary uh, next to the actual in-game music because the in-game music was too loud. So um, I'm just gonna. I didn't play that far, so we're just gonna start off from the beginning again. So at least the first hour or so is not going to be blind, but the rest will be. So September 2000. Nearly three years have passed since the tragic loss of life during the incident in Manhattan. Since then I've quit the force and become an NMC hunter based in LA. I caught the creatures as they headed west from New York. Okay. We never saw any of the mutant mitochondria that created Eve again. The creature's numbers were dwindling. Dwindling? Dwindling. The end of my struggle was in sight. Till one chilly late summer evening. Oh. But uh, yeah, you guys didn't miss out too much because I was just uh, stumbling around, wasting time reading the instruction manual, just trying to you know, get get through the basics of the game. What's the matter, Aya? Which I could have done if I just read the instruction manual before we started <laughs> the, the playthrough. She's not in the zone today. So yeah, I feel like even though it's even though the start is technically not a blind playthrough, I'll just um, I'll just. Um, I kind of want to at least have the basics down before we get going on the game, because otherwise I'll just be stumbling around too much. Like, there's a, there's a limit to how much I want to <laughs> struggle in the beginning. Um, okay, we're actually done here. Do I need to adjust the audio? Let me, let me actually check the options right now. Um, that low for clear sound effects. Yeah, we'll we'll try it on uh, a slightly lower music setting. I've had it on three, and uh, it's just been too loud. So we're just gonna gonna go with this. Okay. Hmm. 
I think we're supposed to head out of here, right? Cool. Oh, it's a it's a giant AC. Okay, gotcha. Uh, the first thing that I noticed with this game is that the controls are completely different. Quite different from. I think they're yeah. I think they're different from the first game because the because this game uses what I've referred to as tank controls. Um, apparently, the Resident Evil, I don't remember which game it was, was the was very popular when this game came out, uh, and they, uh, Square felt that they wanted to emulate this, you know, jump on the craze, so they uh, changed the game in this, the controls in this game to Resident Evil tank controls. Uh, NMC is the abbreviation for Neomitochondrion Creature. NMCs are organisms that we, ugh, with modified mitochondria. They are the cellu cellular organs responsible for creating energy. Oh, oh uh, they are in practically every living thing, humans included. In the distant past, they existed as independent organisms, then they became parasites. They live inside the cell nucleus, in symbiosis with the cell. Of course, their chromosomes are different than those of the host. Okay. Uh, and the tank controls, it feels, yeah, it's pretty much, they, you move like a tank. So, instead of the previous game where you just move the way you move the controller, uh oh really oh okay uh <laughs> in uh in this game you just you rotate and then you move forward with the by pressing up and to go back you you press down and this is regardless of how the character is facing on screen so you just uh it's something to get used to and i've had the uh, Biggest problems getting used to it, but I think uh, after playtesting it to this degree, I'm I'm getting more comfortable comfortable with it, with it, which you pretty much have to, in, uh, because there is no way to dodge in this game. There's no dodge button. You have to like, as far as I know, the only way to dodge is to just move like a tank out of the way <laughs> from uh, from enemies. And yeah, the only reason, but the only reason that I restarted this game from the beginning uh, was because of the audio issue. Looks like the dodo really hit the fan at the Acropolis Tower downtown. Oh. I just went to a clearance sale there last week. Not on the roof, I bet. Mm, no. Al wants, uh, I mean, supervising Agent Baldwin wants you down there in 10 minutes ago. Oh. It really does involve NMCs, right? <laughs> Last time I checked out a creature sighting. It was just a salesman in a fluffy chicken suit. Oh, no such luck this time. They've already called in SWAT. All right, already. I'm going. Wherever there's NMCs, there I am. What is what is this dialogue? It's weird. Okay, yeah, I just don't get cocky. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Jody's got your car ready for you. Oh, okay. Thank you, Jody. I'm just gonna get out of here. Yeah, I mean, I've had the biggest problems learning just how to, you know, properly equip myself. Uh, yeah. I, fe I feel like this game is... Either it was such a long time ago since I played the first game, or... Uh, there's a lot of things that just change with the uh, second game. 
Use your BP here to aim, to arm and equip yourself. Bring along some tablets too, just in case. Can I? Oh, can I see a list? I have 200 BP. I can literally not buy anything because it's everything is too expensive. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you're meant to buy anything here, except for. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's a defense weapon. Okay, you're not supposed to. Okay, let's get out of here. So we can't buy anything here. We'll we'll just have to. Uh... Oh, we can move. Okay. So yeah, you're going to see me run through this first area or first part of the game uh, a bit faster than usual. Let's see. We there's an item over here, I think. Bottle. Okay. Wait, what is this? The item. Oh no. Use. How do... Oh wait. What, what? Medicine bottle. How do you. Oh! Okay, uh, recovery three. Nutri... Nutritive tonic heals a lot of. Yeah, I, I read this in the instruction manual. Apparently, if you press triangle on. Uh, items you can discover what they are in case they are they have the question mark symbol on them so you need to discover what they actually are before you can actually use them <laughs> apparently and this is a lot of this is just one of those things you can only read if you check out the manual which i had to do a number of times throughout the game and because I didn't at the start, one of, sometimes I would get killed because of it. And as much as you probably enjoy... Wait a minute. As pro yeah, as much as you might enjoy see me seeing that, you, it's, I think it's just better this way. But yeah, because of the audio thing, I had to kind of... And I had to restart anyway, because sometimes... The environment is really loud and I would not be able to hear myself talking because of the loud background noise in the, in the game. <laughs> okay, let's get going. This is a nice car. So yeah, once again, technical issues, well, actually caused by myself this time, co has caused me to restart from, even though I playtested this game already. Or more like, actually I started, it was more like I was starting a playthrough, but I had, I checked the recordings and saw that, well, this is not really working out. Oh no, the, there's a shopper. Uh, Exploding. Yeah, and uh, especially the cutscenes would be really loud. And I couldn't do anything about it because of my audio screw up. <laughs> I look so calm. Even though this is a chaotic uh, scene. There's dead people. And I... Much blood. A SWAT member. And I can't run. Yeah, I have to talk to the officer. Um, Special Agent Aya Brea. I'm with the FBI MIST unit. MIST? Oh. Right, you're cleared for entry. Go right in. Uh, quick, can we move? Okay. What's the situation? Why did he move away? <laughs> it's like he doesn't want to stand uh, closer to talk. The situation, it's out of control. We had a team on the roof before we lost contact. And now our helicopter's down. Military better get her soon. Oh, yeah, I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think so. Whoops. Uh, I don't think so. 
Let's go. Oh god. Controls. I, I've got this, right? Yeah, I think I do. It's... The cutscene is making it kind of difficult to move. Because you're... That was the helicopter. Sad. No survival. <laughs> no, sad. <laughs> what is with this dialogue? So weird. Okay. Let's get inside. Special Agent Freya, FBI. What's the situation on the roof? While SWAT went in about 10 minutes ago, but we seem to have lost contact. Any civilians inside? Uh, they've already been evacuated. They were yelling about creatures. I see, thank you. Let's go. Careful in there. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. Sergeant, an FBI agent just entered the building. That hunter from Mist, right? Mist, Sergeant? Yeah, haven't you heard of them? Didn't you get the memo? Damn rookies, they're monster hunters. They formed after the NY blockade incident three years back. Okay, so it's been three years since the first game. Maybe that's why everything changed so much. The controls are just bonkers now. Wasn't wasn't it like you, you just moved the way that you would input with your analog stick or something? Like you would actually move that way. Uh, I don't remember. Oh god, it's so dark. Can I... can I not... No, I think I have to do it on the TV, because uh, it's so freaking dark, I can't... Uh, I can't see. I barely see anything. How do you do this? Picture, picture, hold on, brightness. Uh, come on. Um... Wow, this is really bright. Okay, let's let's just try this. I'll I'll see if it I need to change it. Oh, exit. Okay. I just changed the brightness on the TV, but I'm not sure if I don't know. <sighs> God. I think I can just kind of make do, but yeah. It's kind of dark. Kind of dark. Okay, let's get going. Oh. I th I've never had this before. Like the, yeah, the recording is kind of dark. But when I check the recording, it's actually not that bad. It's so weird. Like the, when it's, yeah, uh, I don't know. There's dead people here. This, this was SWAT? Stench of gunpowder and blood. Bodies lying atop each other. SWAT's the best and still... Well, apparently they're not that good compared to these monsters. Not one survived this. Um, yeah. Okay, we... Um, the phone... Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a monster there. Yeah. Wait a minute, is it because I changed the picture mode on the TV? Isn't that... isn't that the reason? Because it's in, in game mode. Dynamic, normal... Cinema. I don't know. <laughs> make a freaking difference. Okay, well, we have to f answer the phone, apparently. Okay, let's go. Agent Bria? 
You're there, good. This is Baldwin. What? SWAT? It's unusual for NMCs to do this kind of damage. We need more information, just use sufficient caution. Okay, we're gonna save. Uh, so we are going to... Uh, overwrite the save. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, alright. God. I really didn't want to restart, but here we are. Freeze! Freeze! Oh, uh, don't shoot, FBI. That Coca-Cola vending machine is really loud. You'll be okay. Where's the rest of the SWAT team? Didn't you see them? Those things, they killed everyone. Everyone. All except this lady, a civilian. She didn't make it to the shopper. But I wasn't wounded. Please, you gotta go save her. Where is she? Probably still in the cafeteria. Please. Why would she be in the cafeteria? Watch your back. Yeah, thanks, I'll do that. <laughs> it's kind of strange, why would she still be there? A vending machine. Coca-Cola! Go, oh, hurry. Okay, I'll go. Yeah, see, just to turn a little bit, I have to mo move the character. And then I can move forward. <laughs> it's, it's strange. Okay, let's go down this way. Press X to ascend or descend stairs or ladders. <laughs> Look at the time it takes just to... There's something on the bench. Uh, look at the time it takes just to go down some stairs. A SWAT ammunition box. It's filled with 90mm rounds. I'll just borrow some of these. This case holds an unlimited supply of ammunition. Oh, that's great. Remember, supply points like this for later use. Yeah. Yeah, so if you run out, you can always come back and pick up ammo. Extreme bloodless and trauma, his skin, it's still a little warm. Recovery 2. Uh, and so the way you have to do things, like if you want to use healing items during a fight, you have to attach them, otherwise you can't use them during a fight. That's a really... that's something that definitely killed me at least once. It's um, definitely a holdover from from the, well, I don't know, it was, it's weird. weird. Oh! Oh! Oh wait, I actually have to move forward a bit, otherwise... Okay. Uh, did you miss me? <laughs> it was standing right next to me and it didn't hit me. Okay. Are you... Oh god. Gruesome. FBI. Everything is going to be okay. Watch out. They're not what they seem. Oh. <laughs> right. That's great. Okay, let's... Oh wait, let me check. Does he have any extra dialogue? Hello? No good. He's gone. Everything is going to be okay. No good. He's gone. He's gone. He's dead. Not... no. Not... everything is not going to be okay. 
Uh, is there anything over here? Falafel? Oh no. Whoever was eating here, they must have left in a hurry. Yes. Go inside. Wait, can I actually check the window? Oh, there's a woman in there. Looks like a civilian. How could you sit there in the middle of all this? Yes. How could she? Open the door with the with the cafeteria key. How could she? Ma'am? We need to get out of here. Ma'am? You're safe now. I'm with the FBI. I'm going to get you out of here. you stop doing that? Okay. Seriously, she's stuck against the table. I'm really glad that we're not playing this late at night, because this stuff is definitely... This is the stuff of nightmares. Jesus. I've never seen this type of creature before. Odd. There's some kind of metal implant behind the ear cavity. What's this? Metallic implant. What is that? Weird. 